factors and primes. In this tutorial, we are going to cover prime factors, the highest common factor, and the lowest common multiple. So let's begin. Prime factors. What is a prime factor? A prime factor is a factor that is a prime number. In other words, the prime numbers that can be multiplied to give the original number. Now the best way to explain this is by way of an example. So let's have a look at our first question. What are the prime factors of 168? Now the best way to answer this question is by using a factor tree. And don't forget, in any exam, it is absolutely crucial to show your workings out. If you don't, that's where you could lose marks. Okay, so let's begin. 168. Now the factor tree works like this. Now because this number ends in 8, we know that we can divide it by 2. And what is left over? 168 divided by 2 is 84. I'm sure you can work that out in your head. Now 2, as you've gathered, is a prime number. So we've got the first prime number in the equation. Let's switch back to yellow. 84 is not a prime number, so we keep going. Again, 84 because it ends in 4, we know it can be divided by 2. 84 divided by 2 is 42. And if you can't work out these divisions in your head, just make a little note and start going through them. Okay, we're switching colors again. 2 is also a prime number in this equation. Right, let's carry on. 42, now again, we can divide this by 2. 42 divided by 2 is 21. There's our prime number again. We're now down to 21. And 21, we know that 21 is made up of 3 times 7. So we can write down 3 and 7. Now 3 is a prime number and 7 is a prime number. And that's it, we're done. We can't divide the numbers any further. Therefore, the prime factors of 168 are 2 times 2. I'm taking them all from the red circles we've got here. 2 times 2 times 2 times the 3 times 7. So we've got all of them. And the easy way to write this down is by collating these together. We've got 3 of the 2's, so we've got 2 to the power of 3 times the 3 times 7. And there we have it. The prime factors of 168 are 2 to the power of 3 times 3, times 7. And that is how you work out the prime factors. OK, now we will move on to the highest common factor. Highest common factor is abbreviated to HCF. So what is the highest common factor? The highest common factor of two numbers is the highest number that is a factor of both numbers. The highest number that is a factor of both numbers. Now let's work through our example. Example 2. What is the highest common factor of the numbers 168 and 36. 
Now remember, the workings out are crucial. We're going to answer this question using the factor tree. Now the first one we've already done, so let's go through this relatively quickly. 168. Now we did this in the previous example. We got 84. So I'll go through this quickly. And we're going to circle the prime numbers. 2, 2, 2, 3, and 7. OK, that's the first one done. Now we will do number 36. Now 36 can be divided by 2. That leaves 18. 18 times 2 is 36. Nine times two is eighteen, so we've got two and nine, and that leaves three times three. Three times three is nine. So the prime numbers are two times two times three times three. They make thirty-six. So how do we work out the highest common factor? Now the first thing is let's write down each of these numbers again. So we've got 168 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. And we've got 36 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to circle the numbers that match both of the numbers 168 and 36. So we've got 2 here, and we've also got 2 here. We've got another 2 at the top, and we've also got a matching 2 at the bottom. We have another 2 here, but there is no 2 in the number 36. What we do have is a 3 here, which matches the 3 over here. So therefore, the highest common factor is basically all the numbers we've circled. So we've got a 2, that's the first one there, times 2, that's that one over here, times 3, which is this one over here. So the highest common factor is 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. So the highest common factor of the numbers 168 and 36 is 12. So it's very simple to work out the highest common factor. Just make sure you get the workings out absolutely correct. OK, we will now move on to the lowest common multiple. Lowest common multiple, LCM. The lowest common multiple of two numbers is the lowest number that is a multiple of both numbers. It is the lowest number that is a multiple of both numbers. Now let's have a look at our example. What is the lowest common multiple of the two numbers we have been working with, 168 and 36? Now again, we're going to show our workings out. So let's begin and we're going to use the workings out from the previous example. So we had 168 equals, we've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. And we had 36 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And what we also had was these numbers circled. We had the 2 and the 2 over here. We've got a 2 here and 2 down here. Then we had this 3 followed by this 3 over here. Now to work out, let me just change colors for this, to work out the lowest common multiple 
of these two numbers is 12, which is those numbers that we multiplied, 2 times 2 times 3, these are all the ones which are circled purple, times all the numbers that are left over. So we've got a 2 here, times 3 here, times the 7 here. So the lowest common multiple is 12 times 2 times 3 times 7. So we can work this out. 12 times 2 is 24. And then we've got 24 times 3 is 72. If you can't do these in your head, just work them out. I'm going to work out the last one because I can't do that in my head. 72 times 7 is 14. 7 times 49 plus 1 is 50. So therefore, the lowest common multiple of 168 and 36 is 504. And that is how to work out the lowest common multiple.